My name is Anna Maria Bazan from the Bazan Steinberg Law Firm. In this video, we will discuss the new proposal that the government has published on October 10, 2018 under the Trump administration concerning public charge. What is public charge? Public charge is a ground of inadmissibility that has existed for a long time, but the government wants to expand it so that thousands of immigrants will be between a rock and a hard place. They will have to choose between obtaining a green card or continuing to help their families subsist. It is a very difficult decision and very difficult times for many people. Many people are understandably upset and worried. Please watch our next video concerning this topic when the rule is already published. Right now, it's only a proposal, and I would like to emphasize that so that things that I say today could change later. What benefits will be a problem now? Um, as I said before, immigration is changing it. It's, it's gonna expand the public charge definition. Currently, and so far up until this day, immigration has had a narrow definition. It has analyzed and seen whether the, the person is likely to become primarily dependent on the government for subsistence. That means that if you were receiving some kind of benefit, the government didn't really pay attention so long as you had an affidavit of support and also maybe a co-sponsor if the sponsor didn't have enough income. That was sufficient. It would suffice to adjust your status. Now, the government is saying no. Now, a lot of, many of the government benefits may be a problem. If you see on the screen, there's a list of government benefits that could potentially be a problem as it is in the proposed rule, as SSI, TANF, SNAP, Section 8 housing, Medicaid, among others. And so if that means if you're receiving this kind of benefit, you could be considered public charge and you could be denied your green card. Now, let's talk about how the government is going to analyze your circumstances, the totality of the circumstances analysis. They're going to look at other factors like your age, your income, your education, your um, health, how, how sick are you or not sick. If you're very sick, it might be a problem because it might tell the government that you're going to uh, be a, become a public charge in the future. Now, who is affected? Only people that have a p case pending with immigration with the service will be affected. People that are just here undocumented but don't have any, any cases pending are really not gonna be affected at this point unless they have something to apply for in the future. And the good news is that people like asylees and refugees and people with U visas and T visas and TPS will not be affected by this rule. Now, a lot of people are concerned about whether they should uh, disenroll from these, receiving these public benefits. I wouldn't do anything at this point until the actual regulation comes out. We're uncertain about how the government is gonna analyze this situation of you receiving benefits. Now, your children, if they're US citizens, they're perfectly entitled to receive the, these benefits, but the parent or yourself may be penalized at some point, we're not sure. This is uncertain still. And my advice right now would be to consult with your attorney who's handling the process or any honest and reliable attorney that can help you determine what to do with your public assistance issue. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also keep watching us and follow us on Facebook at Anna Maria Bazan Law Firm. Thank you.